So she is at this point regarded as the most beautiful woman in America. The, the, the concept of Miss America contest was her, and she was the first judge, 1919. So she is at this point regarded as the most beautiful woman in America. The, the, the concept of Miss America contest was her, and she was the first judge, 1919. Because they said, who but Nancy Christie should judge what the most beautiful woman in America looks like? Yeah. Um, well, there were so, Christmas. Uh, yeah. So it would be December. Um, yeah. Coming up. I, I don't know when he did the pink, but the anniversary would be there. <clears throat> the next year, it was featured in uh, Nerdler, which was the big gallery in America at the time, in New York City. And they have a, every year they have an exhibition of the best paintings. This was on the cover. It's the finest portrait. It catches the attention of uh, John Singer Sargent, who's mm, old course. but the greatest, yes. you know, Madame X descending the staircase. Probably through um, Gibson, who was a Boston, this is a, the Boston art mafia, and he sends him a letter, uh, which I also saw but couldn't copy, and he says, uh, he says, Dear Howard, he said, in a hundred years, <laughs> I'll be known for painting that ugly B-I-T-C-H uh, that, that horrible creature, Madame X descending the staircase, and no one else will remember anything else I've done. Whistler will be known for his, the portrait of his mother. You, you SOB, will be known for this. He said, and you get to sleep with her. So, and, and he signed it, Love Jack. That was a great story. That so, great um, story. fast forward 50 years. I'm in uh, Atlanta. Uh, doing some business with a, a gal, uh, at a gallery, a very successful gallery there, and she happened to have a collection of paintings that I, I knew the artist, so I'm negotiating with her. And she says one day, uh, the phone's ringing, and she's very nonchalant about it. You know, it's a big deal, uh, a Buckhead Atlanta gallery, uh, lots of great clients, but you know, pick up the phone, I can't talk. So this old man says, uh, is the lady there? And I said, no. She said, well, my name is something Christie. I don't know what to <clears throat> said, and I was in her gallery years ago. I'd like to talk to her. So, so, I said goodbye. Well, went back to uh, Frances Aronson's name, this woman, Aronson Gallery. And so I said, uh, this guy, Christie, called. said, ah, it's some old guy trying to sell a painting in New York. So I called back. And he said, um, he said, I'm the, I'm the sole heir because there was a, a 35 or 40 year age difference between them. They were together for 40 years, but they never had any kids. And I inherited everything. Get this, it was a 10 or 12 room co-op overlooking the, muse the museum, uh, the Guggenheim Museum on 5th and 89th. So he said, there's one thing left. Uh, my, my, uh, my aunt's husband did a wedding portrait and it's over the, I can't get it down. So this, which is like nine feet, was over the mantle. I drove up that day, went from Atlanta, stopped here to change clothes and take a shower and went to New York. <clears throat> Walked up, I saw it, I, I, and it did not look like this. Mm -hmm. It was, you know, at, at that time, 80 something years old, grime, dirt, everything else. Mm -hmm. and, <clears throat> and I just looked and I said, what am I gonna do? I can't. I can't go home without this. Mm -hmm. So before he said, I said, sir, whatever you say, I can't afford it, but I'll buy it. Mm -hmm. And so he said, that's the right attitude. And, and he said, here's the price and uh, take it with you and pay me $2,000 a month until it's done, which was years. Mm -hmm. So I get the painting, I, pu I put it up, I photographed it. Um, and at about the time we moved here, so it took a couple of years to get this place to look like a gallery. It was apartments and things. Mm -hmm. And in the process, these ancient canvases are very, very brittle. And 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 the the stretchers are, are somewhat iffy. And in moving it, they had a little split. You know, it's stress. Yeah. So they uh, somewhere here, they're a pure little thing. And it had a couple of dings. You know, I've been 